Alex Frick Park. Just got a little bit of time to kill before work, so I'm gonna check out some of these trails. I've not been on these ones up here. It seems to be their blazing system, but I don't know what exactly the, uh, exactly what trail I'm on right now. No, I'm absolutely positive you're not allowed to camp up here, but uh, this would be a nice campsite. Something that smells like a zoo around here. I wonder if those are pens for some animals. What oh, these are? Oh yeah, there are some. Uh, what do they got over there? Sheep or goats? I think those are goats. Yep. Electric fence over there. Okay, I'm just basically just following trails and I have no idea where the state trails are going. The stranger's a fire hydrant out here in the middle of the woods. There's nothing around. <laughs> that is the first time I've ever seen a fire hydrant in the woods. I just came down from up there and it put me onto this uh, big wide trail here. I'm going to go right. Okay, so I am on this uh, South Clayton, I guess. And uh, so I, what I did was I came out this way, came down here, and head back this way. I'm parked over here. So I'll probably go and uh, do that north loop too. Well, mountain bikers use these trails too. So I don't want to go down on there, down into the valley. I don't guess I'm staying over here. I guess this is just supposed to be some kind of overlook area, maybe. Not much of an overlook, but uh, the environmental center is right up there. So I guess that uh, South Clayton Trail went that way and then uh, back up to the parking lot. Um, yeah. I'll do it that way. This is some of the worst stuff to walk on. These like golf ball sized rocks, but they're all jaggedy and pointy. I hate walking on these things. And that is the uh, environmental center. I've never been in there, so I don't know what all is going on in there. And so far, this is what the uh, North Clayton trail looks like. That's a noisy. Oh, they're right there. That doesn't even care that I'm here. Hey, baby. They're so used to seeing people, it doesn't even care. <laughs> Yeah, I've been uh, coming downhill from the time I started on this trail. And, uh, yeah, there's the bridge and uh, the clay tennis courts are over that way. Uh, yeah, down in the valley, I've been on about a mile worth of trail down there before. in the winter you can get a view up here okay I got here I recognize that fencing sitting there so I'm gonna head up this Kennywood trail and take that back to the car so essentially what I did was the entire um, Clayton trail the north and the south I don't even remember seeing this Biddle Trail leading off. But anyways, here's my turn. More single track than that other one. 
okay there's that uh goat pen right there so i was over that way earlier so i'm going this way i'm pretty confident this is the correct direction that i need to go it uh yeah it better be because uh i gotta start working in half an hour it's an eight minute drive from the parking lot yeah i remember this muddy section coming in Kind of a neat little uh, hangout area. Even if it is kind of noisy, I think that's Braddock Avenue down there. Now those uh, blue plastic blazes and there's some orange, black, um, some round orange plastic blazes. Um, I only saw a handful of them the whole time I was out here. And I don't know, I probably, probably only did about two miles. Uh, I'll put the, uh, the GPS track down below and the, uh, the stats for what I did out here today. Got a little chill spot over there. I believe from what I read last time I was up here that this whole big building over here, this environmental center, is powered by um, solar power. Those are all solar panels over there. Here's the old gatehouse. Wasp nest in hay bale in back right corner. I wonder what these things are for backpack returns and backpack pickups. Hmm. I don't know. Alright, back at the car. That's a wrap for this one. No time for McDonald's.